Gloria. Today I want to share with you a very delicious recipe that I know that you guys are going to love. It's spinach cakes with cheese that you guys are going to enjoy. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. mozzarella cheese, Himalaya salt, garlic cloves, black pepper, onion, tomatoes, eggs, spinach, and oil. This is everything we need to make this delicious spinach cakes. So let's get started. I am ready. I want to start with my spinach and let's go and take it to the sink and rinse the spinach really good i'm taking little bunches making sure that the water really runs through it that the all the leaves are really nice and rinsed this really takes time but believe me this is important step after this is nice and rinsed i'm just gonna go ahead put it aside and I have my tomatoes here. Let's go and rinse them out. You want to make sure that you rub them in between your fingers and get them nice and clean. Okay, let's put them aside. This is nice and clean. Now I have my onion here, which I'm going to start slicing and cutting it in little squares. The reason that we're cutting the onion like this is so that it will incorporate completely with the spinach let's put it aside i have my spinach right here and i'm just gonna take the ends off just like this those ends we're not gonna use and i'm gonna start slicing it just like this until everything is really nice and cut I'm gonna go ahead, put everything in this plate, and we are ready to go take it to the stove. My pan is really nice and hot, and I'm adding just a little bit of vegetable oil. I'm gonna start by adding the onion. I have, um, I have the heat in medium low, and I'm just gonna let it cook while I start slicing and dicing my garlic cloves. We want to make sure that we dice it really small so that it will incorporate completely with that delicious sauce we are making for our spinach cakes. Okay, the onion is nice and translucent and that's when we're going to add our diced garlic. We're gonna move it around, incorporate it completely. When it starts releasing the flavor and the smell of the onion and the garlic, well, this is the time when we're gonna remove it from the pan, transfer it to a plate. We wanna just go ahead and take everything off, remove it and put it in this little plate. And then we're gonna start adding the spinach. It really doesn't take too long before the skin, the spinach starts cooking completely and the volume of the spinach is really going to be very small. Once it starts getting nice and cooked, you will see that it will be, you're going to say it's just a little bit of spinach, but believe me, it will be enough. Okay, I turned off my stove and now I'm going to remove it and I'm going to Put it here so all the extra liquids come out of the spinach. And the liquids, I'm not going to throw away. I'm going to use it on my sauce. I have 
all the liquid of the spinach here, all the juice, and I'm adding it to my blender cup. To this, I'm gonna start adding my tomatoes, and I'm only gonna cut them through the middle. And I'm gonna start adding the three tomatoes for this delicious sauce I'm making for my spinach cakes. Okay, I have my three tomatoes here. I'm gonna add my Himalaya salt. Remember the salt is to taste. And I have the black pepper. And let's go ahead and cover it. And we're gonna blend it just for a couple minutes until it's really nice and blended and incorporated. Okay, this is completely done. Let's put it aside. I have all my onion here. I'm going to add the spinach and I'm going to incorporate it, making sure that the spinach and the onion is really nice and incorporated. And now I'm adding the mozzarella cheese. We want to make sure that everything really is nice and incorporated before we add our eggs. Okay. I have a little plate here and I'm gonna start by cracking two organic eggs. These eggs, my brother Manuel gave them to me. He has a lot of chickens and they are giving them too many eggs. So he gave me a bunch of eggs. And here what I'm doing is just mixing it completely. If you could tell, the yolk is so bright, the yellow, the color, I mean, they are completely organic i'm just gonna go ahead mix it around incorporate the egg completely just like this once everything is really nice and incorporated then let's go to the stove and let's start making our little spinach cakes the texture is really moist but yet it's not too watery i'm adding a couple tablespoons of vegetable oil and now i am ready to make these little cakes just like this it really doesn't take too long before they really start cooking one by one until i am completely done when they've been like this for about three minutes that's when you're gonna go ahead and flip them I have the heat in medium low, so they really cook through. I'm gonna leave them like this just for one or two minutes. They gotta be really nice and crispy from the outside. And my home smells delicious. I am ready to remove them. I have a plate here. I'm gonna remove them. And then I'm going to continue making the rest of them. Look at this. Okay, this is my last one. And now let's just cook. They are ready to be flipped. They are nice and crispy. My home really does smell delicious. Now I am ready to remove them and I'm going to start cooking in the same pan. I'm going to start cooking the tomato sauce. The pan is really nice and hot and that would, that's the noise you need to hear when you're adding the sauce in. We're gonna cook the sauce for about five minutes and it will start turning really bright red. That's when you know that the sauce is completely done. Look how thick this sauce looks. Well here the sauce is ready. You could add the cake spinach inside but I really don't like to do that. I like to just add the sauce right on the top of the spinach cakes i added some mexican rice and look how this delicious this looks i can't wait to taste it see you in a bit
done with these spinach cakes. I know that you guys are going to love it and enjoy it. I am ready to taste it. Of course, if you could put this little cakes inside the sauce, but I like to do it separately, okay? Let's see how this came out. You know, they're so soft and with a lot of cheese inside, and I added just a little bit of Mexican rice, red rice that you already have on my channel. Okay, let's see how this came out. Excuse me. Mmm. Mmm. Very soft. The, the, the taste of the spinach is so delicious with the cheese and the sauce. Well, this is perfection. Excuse me. Mmm. Something that you could enjoy with your family. This is a very delicious dish, I know. I hope that you guys enjoy it like I enjoy it here with my family. If you liked and loved my recipe, please don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, share my video on social media so more people get to know Cooking with Gloria. Don't forget to push the notification bell and, it, and if you did already, leave it activated so every time I make a new recipe, yes, you are going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. And of course, I will stay enjoying this delicious spinach cakes in this delicious sauce. I'll see you soon with a very delicious recipe. Bye-bye.